Hey guys, today I'm downtown. Cassie had to work, so I'm gonna meet up with the guys and record a little bit. I'm pretty sure we're going to this art gallery behind me, and then I think we're gonna go get some pizza. And I just happened to walk by the store and look who I see. So I guess this is where we're going. Thanks for inviting us to your gallery. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with literally all of these prints. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much for that. I heard you mentioned something in Ted's interview about aura and energy. Yes. And before you said that, these prints behind you, they remind me of like chakras yes. and energy. Is that what kind of inspired this? Absolutely. Absolutely. So my name is Ruben Martinez and this is Art and Photo Gallery. And basically, the way all this came about was just creative what ifs coming to life, diving into it and seeing what could, what could happen if I turn off the house lights and just start dancing around with light in the dark. And the idea was to create some abstract art for my living room. And so I wanted to see if I can get some vividness and, and vibrancy and just good energy, good vibes for my, my living space. And so after spending some time in the dark and just moving around, this is the first collection that was brought to life. And when I first seen it, I was blown away at how vivid it was. And I didn't expect to be that intense. And what I love is the fact that it just reminded me of that. It reminded me of energy mm -hmm. and, and chakras and auras and just good vibes. So I wanted to try to capitalize on that and just expand on that concept. It really captures it because that's, that's one of the first things I noticed when I walked in and oh. I thought of chakras right away. Awesome. Thank so, you so I really much. like that. They're very pretty. Okay, so what is this? So this is the tool, the, one of the main tools I should say, that I utilize when bringing these ideas to life. And it's a fiber optic brush that's connected to an RGB flashlight. So what happens with this is when I'm in the dark, um, I basically fire the camera and you can't see nothing, but the camera's in bolt mode, so it's kind of like in a record mode, if you will, just one long exposure. Mm -hmm. So I fire that with my remote, and that opens the camera or the shutter, and from there, I just start dancing around with light. And with this, I pretty much can change the color mm -hmm. to just go at it and just have some fun with what ideas I want to just try to bring to life. So it's funny how this one was brought to life. Basically, I'll show you how I did that. So what I did was I started with my red and I fired the camera and I created a bunch of X's and I just started going up, down and changing up all my colors, right? In a bunch of X's. I turned off the light and in the dark, I just used my torso and just half flashes towards the camera. And so I used my body as a guide and that's what created all that. Wow. So the fun part is that you won't know what you're gonna get until you look at the back of the camera. And let me tell you guys, it was funny because before I learned to use my torso, I was just kind of here, kind of there, <laughs> kind of doing this, you know, and there was lights, like uh, stars everywhere. You know, as you're putting the light towards the camera, you can basically just go half clicks and where you want them to go. And the camera records it all. And so you're layering light on top of light. So even though I'm using an RGB light, which is the red, blue, green, um, I basically can go ahead and layer colors and create colors within colors. So like when I'm crossing my red and my blue, I'm gonna create like a violet or a purple, right? A green and red will create like an orange or maybe like a lime greenish, but it's just, it's awesome. And once again, you don't know what you're gonna get until you look at the back of the camera, you know? And so there's no Photoshop involved, which is awesome. It's just Lightroom adjustments and messing with the brightness, the contrast, um, getting my cropping where I imagine it. And mm -hmm. whatever makes sense, you roll with it. That's so cool. For someone who's not familiar with art or photography, okay. what would this be considered? Like what kind of photography or art are you yes. doing? It's known as uh, a few different things. Uh, it's, it's commonly known as just long exposure photography. Okay. And you guys might have seen that where you see like say um, uh, a highway or the Las Vegas Strip for example right where you have the casinos all pristine and glowing but then you have the trails of light from the cars that is also long exposure photography so what i thought was okay instead of waiting for cars to go by 
what if I can put myself in a black, dark room and paint with light and control mm -hmm. light? And that's how these would work. So it's the same concept, but you're just controlling the light and controlling the environment a little bit more. So from these, it just kind of evolved into merging this concept with the energy and the aura of people. And that's where this came about. So all of this just, it's just storytelling with light. It's amazing. Thank you so much for letting us come to your gallery. Thank you so much for coming. You're very talented. Thank you. I wasn't really sure what to expect today, but I'm so glad the guys invited me out. Ruben, <laughs> they're best friends now. Ruben was so sweet and he really went through the whole process of how he makes his art and everything so pretty. I definitely have some favorites. If you guys are in Vegas, you should definitely check out his gallery. I'll leave his information below. And if you guys want us to do more videos like this, definitely comment below, let us know. And please don't forget to subscribe before you go. See you next time. Bye guys.